they had gathered in the center of Kherson to denounce the Russian occupation there. But as Moscow's forces responded with tear gas and gunshots, protesters were forced to flee. Kherson fell within the first week of Russia's invasion in Ukraine, but it remains the only major city to have been captured by Moscow so far. The Ukrainian army continues to put up stiff defense, stalling Russia's advance. We have seen indications that uh, the Ukrainians are going a bit more on the offense now. They have been defending uh, very smartly, uh, very nimbly, very creatively in places that they believe are the right places to defend. Some Western officials had predicted that the Ukrainian capital would fall within 72 hours of the start of the invasion. But nearly a month in, Kyiv is still out of Russia's hands. Moscow's bid to encircle the capital has been hampered by counterattacks from the Ukrainian side. On Tuesday, Ukrainian forces drove Russian troops from the Kyiv suburb of Makariv, allowing them to retake a key highway to the west of the capital. Moscow, meanwhile, says it's been able to partially capture the northwestern suburbs of Busha, Hostomel and Erpin. In the south, shelling continues to rain down on Mariupol. Russian warships are bombing the strategic ports from the Sea of Azov. Moscow's forces also have their eyes on the crucial port of Odessa, located on the Black Sea. But for the time being, troops are stored in Mykolaiv, around 130 kilometers away from the key port. U.S. intelligence officials estimate that the Russian side has lost 7,000 soldiers since the start of the invasion. To compare, 4,900 American soldiers were killed during the war in Iraq, which lasted eight years.